Now, it's one thing making money as a video editor, but it's a whole another monster to earn a sustainable full-time income from your video editing. In this video, I am going over some tips to perfect your freelance video editing workflow to earn the maximum amount of money on a consistent basis. Perfect your communication. It seems so small, but I believe communication is the number one factor in succeeding as a freelancer or not. Be open, honest, and transparent with your clients. Be consistent with your project updates. If there's a delay on a deadline, reach out to your client before they reach out to you. And always make sure you reply back to the client no matter what the email or text message is about. Communication is one of the biggest reasons my clients trust me and enjoy working with me. I try my hardest every day to make sure that they feel seen and heard and essentially safe when it comes to their content. Now, if we haven't met yet, my name is Colleen and I'm your video editing mentor. And in this channel, I help you to get a video editing job and to get paid doing what you love. So for more tips on that, be sure to hit subscribe with the bell so you do not miss a thing. Capitalize on peak hours. Now this is different for everyone, but as a freelancer, it's a lot easier working on your own time rather than being stuck in a nine to five. Personally, my peak hours are between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. So I try and get all of my hardest and most creative work done in that time. I utilize the late afternoon to finish up a couple boring administrative tasks maybe, and just in general, winding down for the day. However, usually after 7 p.m. I get this spark of energy and I can get in a couple more hours of work before it's time for bed. Understanding your brain and your body and what time of day works best for you is huge in helping you get more done in a day. Have confidence in your rate. Now this one can be tough, especially if you are first starting out or you are just beginning to raise your rate to a new level. I have had, and still sometimes continue to have, issues telling people my rate because I am afraid that they will ghost me or just turn around and say that that's way over their budget. Actually, there has been multiple times this year that I have been ghosted for my rate now that I think about it. But as I've grown into a full-time video editor, my schedule barely allows for new clients as it is. So you better believe that if I'm gonna be taking on a new client, they better be coming in at my full rate or higher to make it worth it for me to stretch my schedule. And I'm saying this to you because even as a full-time editor, I have stability in my monthly income as a freelance full-time video editor, I still have issues with confidence in my rate. So it is not something that's just easy to get over. If you don't have this issue and you are confident in your rate, that is a huge asset for you and it will probably get you pretty far when it comes to building your freelance career. But if you are like me and you struggle with your confidence here, understand that the client is not only paying for your skills, but also for your time and the value that you bring with that time. It is definitely uncomfortable at first, but it does get easier with every client that you talk to. Make your workspace a creative haven. You're spending the majority of your day sitting at your desk or at least at your computer. So make it a place that you enjoy looking at and that inspires creativity. Now hold on. This does not mean that you are suddenly allowed to drop $300 on new decor for your space. This does mean prioritizing keeping your desk clean and dust free. For me at least, this also means collecting little knickknacks and tchotchkes, if you will, and things that make me happy and keeping them on my desk. This might mean investing in a couple low tea lights or colored lights to give your space a little bit more mood lighting. Whatever it is that's gonna spark creativity in you. Even if it just means changing your screensaver and your desktop wallpaper, it's worth the time and it's worth 
some of the money. Now, if you made it this far and you are loving this video, I'd so appreciate it if you can hit the like button below so this video can spread to more people. And for more details on how to get your first class on Skillshare, you can always check out my Skillshare class and receive a free month of Skillshare just by clicking the link in the description below. Know how to sell yourself. If you want to start earning upwards of four grand a month as a video editor, you're going to need to get pretty good at selling yourself. This starts with having confidence in the value that you bring to the table. Now, of course, you need to consider the level that your editing skills are at, but you also need to equally evaluate your soft skills. Are you a fast learner? Are you a great communicator? Are you reliable and organized? Once you've become more confident in your skill set, you now need to communicate this to the client in a very polite, and direct manner. Are you messaging the client out of the blue or are you applying directly to a job? Either way, you need to get your pitch across to the client as quickly and efficiently as possible so as to not waste their time while still providing as much value to the client as you can possibly offer. And for more tips on that, I highly encourage you to check out this video where I go over exactly how to write a great cover letter for the client when you are applying to a job on Upwork. Stay inspired. In my first year of full-time freelancing, I was going really hard and everything was challenging and exciting and new and I was burning out, but a little bit less than I am now. Now, however, my goal is to protect my energy and my creativity and do whatever I can to fulfill that throughout the week. This includes, but is not limited to, watching really, really good TV shows, finding new podcasts and live streams to keep me company while I edit, more music and more singing, prioritizing more outdoors time, more breaks, and more exercise. I also also encourage you to find clients that keep you going on a creative level. Find clients that you share a passion with or that match your energy or that have content that you already enjoy watching. Doing what keeps you inspired is the best way to set up long-term success for yourself as a freelance video editor. For more tips on building up your freelance video editing career, I encourage you to check out this video next. Hit subscribe for more tips on video editing, freelance lifestyle, and creativity. Thank you to my team. Again, I am Colleen and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have the best one.